Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to determine the production order quantity, or POQ, along with the average annual holding cost and average annual setup cost associated with producing inventory. This question corresponds to problem 12.17 in your text. Here we have a manufacturing company that makes flashlights for toys. The company operates in a production facility 300 days per year. It has orders for about 12,000 flashlights per year and the capacity of producing 100 per day. Setting up the light production costs $50 and the cost of each light is a dollar. The holding cost is 10 cents per light per year. We have four requirements for this problem. The first is going to be to determine the optimal size of the production run. Requirement B, to determine the average holding cost per year. C, the average setup cost per year. And then finally, the total cost per year, including the product cost of the lights themselves. Before proceeding, sometimes it helps to list all the variables involved in the problem. So here we have annual demand, or big D, is 12,000 units per year. Holding cost, H, is 10 cents per unit per year. The setup cost, S, is $50 per setup. The product cost, big P, is $1 per unit. The daily production, or little p, is 100 units per day. And because production order quantity also requires us to know what the daily demand is, we might as well calculate that here too, where the daily demand, little d, is equal to big D, or annual demand, divided by the number of working days per year. So in this problem, it's 12,000 annual demand for lights divided by 300 working days is a daily production rate of 40 units per day. So now we can proceed with requirement A, which is to determine the optimal size of the production run, and that's also known as the production order quantity, or POQ, and we can call that Q star. The formula for that is equal to the square root of 2 times the annual demand times the setup cost divided by the holding cost times 1 minus the daily demand divided by the daily production. Now you might notice that this looks a little similar to the economic order quantity model formula, where the formula was the square root of 2ds just over h. Well the difference is in red here, and it's that 1 minus d over p, or 1 minus the daily demand divided by the daily production. Well all that refers to is the percentage of unsold daily production that remains in inventory. With the EOQ model, none of the product that is ordered and received is sold. 100% of it remains in inventory, so it would be redundant to put 1H in the denominator of the EOQ formula. But in this case, what happens is because production is sold, in some cases immediately after it's produced, it doesn't actually remain in inventory long enough to incur a holding cost. So the production order quantity recognizes this and applies the holding cost only to the percentage of unsold inventory associated with the production run. And that's what the one minus is. If D over P is the percentage of production that is actually sold in a day, then one minus D over P is the unsold. Working along, that's equal to the square root of two times 12,000 times 50 divided by 10 cents times one minus 40 over 100, where 40 is the daily demand or sales and 100 units is the daily production rate. So that 40 over 100 means that 40% of the daily production is sold, resulting in 60% of the daily production unsold remaining in inventory. That works out to 4,472 units per production run. is the optimal production run size or production order quantity. For requirement B, we want to determine the average annual holding cost. Well, that's equal to Q over 2 multiplied by 1 minus D over P times H. You can see how this formula is a modification of the economic order quantity model, where it was just Q over 2 times H. In this case, again, we're applying the holding cost only to the percentage of daily production that is unsold and held in inventory and therefore incurs a cost. So our production order quantity was 4,472 divided by 2, and we multiply that by 1 minus 40 over 100, and multiply that by 10 cents. So the 4,472 divided by 2 is 2,236 times 60% unsold inventory times 10 cent per unit holding cost, and that is $134.16. For requirement C, the average annual setup cost, that's the same as the economic order quantity model. That formula is the annual demand over the production order quantity, or Q star, times the setup cost. That's 12,000 divided by 4472 times $50. And that's $134.16. You'll notice that number is the same as the average annual holding cost because similar to the economic order quantity with the production order quantity model, the holding costs and setup costs are equal at the optimal production level. And finally, for part E, we're asked to determine the total cost, including the product cost itself. 
So we could say that total cost is equal to the product cost plus the holding cost plus the setup cost. The annual product cost is equal to P, which is the cost times the annual demand or D plus each holding and setup cost of $134.16. The product cost is a dollar per light. The annual demand is 12,000. And when we add the holding and setup costs, the total cost associated with producing, selling and holding inventory is $12,260.32. And that's production order quantity.